Good morning again. It's another beautiful day for freedom in the earth and freedom in Christ. Thank you, Lord. The sun sets you free. You shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. I wanted to read out of Genesis chapter 50 this morning. In verse 20, when Joseph said to his brothers, he said, But as for you, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many lives. So the enemy has a plan to harm, but God has a plan for good. That plan extends to you, that plan extends to me. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, God said, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans for peace and not for evil, to give you an intended good a good outcome. God has plans for good for you. God has plans for your life. But we have a schemer and an enemy of our souls. So what else does God say? He says in Ephesians 6, Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He's not saying just float around. He says be strong. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to resist in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore. So we stand in the armor of God, taking what the Lord has provided and knowing that God has a scheme to bring about good even in what the enemy has brought about to attack us. Amen. Glory to God.